Hey guys, this is David here with Arcan Trailer. I uh, just wanted to do a walkthrough with you today of our 2022 Bighorn Traveler 32 RS. Uh, hit some of the key points and uh, give you guys a little bit of footage to kind of peruse through. So, start at the front. We have LED illuminated wide turn front cap. And that is uh, an automotive paint as well. Over here, we have a Kurt Rotaflex hitch. So you can see there's a rubber sort of uh, pad there. That's basically gonna take some of the vibration out and then it gives you a little bit of travel um, to help with the bucking and the chucking when you're towing it. So that's gonna make a pretty huge difference in terms of the comfort and the towability of the unit. Um, down here, Bighorn has absolutely maximized their, uh, their storage in the front. So you have your cord reel here. Nice big space. This is your hydraulic motor. So this guy does have uh, hydraulic slides and uh, six point hydraulic auto level. And then you also gain this, which is locked, but some extra storage in here too. Key just materializes for my lovely assistant. That's weird, Dave. <laughs> but I still can't remove it anyway. There we go. So boom, just more storage. More storage is always a good thing. So they uh, really optimize this front section to give you as much as they possibly could. Come around to this side. We have a nice uh, uh, docking center. Everything's enclosed. It's all waterproof. It's all lockable. You have your easy winterization there. Uh, they have a gravity tank fill. Outside shower with hose. Auto level control. This all has slam lock baggage doors, which is kind of nice. And uh, ooh, this is worth mentioning. So this actually has a uh, sensor on it for for stability. So if you start to sway in this bad boy, um, it's actually going to sense it, engage the brakes, and help it track smoother. So um, anti sway built right into the fifth wheel. Oh, as I mentioned, six point auto level. This actually comes equipped with the CRE 3000 wet bolt suspension. Um, so a little bit more travel between the axles is gonna give you, if you're going up a curb, for example, one tire will go like this, instead of lifting up the back tire. So it'll be a smoother kind of off and on like that. That's, that's kind of the, the rough idea. Um, and then obviously the, uh, the wet bolt means it's greasable, so. On the back of the unit, you do have a permanent rear ladder. Laminated rear wall. You're not gonna get charged an extra 500 bucks for a ladder that's gonna have to be stored somewhere else. It's already there on the trailer. And then your rear accessory hitch, so uh, good for some additional storage if you wanted to add something on there. Let's head inside. So a nice uh, wide entryway, you really notice as you come in, and then you also have your, uh, your easy, uh, easy flip down solid steps nice um, also stickers do a good job reminding us this is actually built with asdell so basically asdell is used in place of wood in place of luon in the sidewall when they're constructing it so essentially asdell is a composite it's impervious to water so no wood of any kind in the sidewall or the slides or really any of the walls so it's a really valuable feature to not have to worry about what water might do if it ever got in there um asdell oh nice entry handle here too Honestly guys, I love this trailer more every time I come in it. Um, just really nice contemporary feel, good contrasts in the wood. Um, you have a nice big uh, gas or electric fridge, big farmhouse stainless steel sink. 
wireless charging pad here. Nice big pantry. Of course, your uh, solid surface stone countertops. Uh, live edge, live edge extendable um, tables. Big windows here. As you pan around here, there's tons of windows, lots of storage. Everything has the MCD roller shades. You get extra sleeping here. This is the uh, a trifold sofa. Lift it up, but it'll unfold just like this. It takes up a little less space. It's probably the best design I've come up with. Uh, your reclining theater seats here. Nice big, uh, nice big TV, and the fireplace is going to throw about 5,000 BTUs as well. So, um, really kind of cozy living area here. You'll notice all the windows are on the cap side. So you're not going to be uh, living in your neighbor's campsite. You'll be living in your own campsite here. The windows kind of over top of the area that you want to see. So that's really the best thing about this floor plan. Um, it's not super long, but it is, uh, it is big enough to give you all, this, all the space in the areas you want. As we head up to the top here, So you have the, uh, in the bathroom, I'll let you check that out. So a nice big shower um, with actual molded fiberglass shower surround. Kind of a residential style in there with the skylight as well. We also have a porcelain foot flush toilet. Some nice hooks there, a little more storage. And then actually this countertop is uh, the same countertop used in the kitchen. So it's a nice stone and it's gonna match throughout the unit, which is nice. Uh, king bed up here, USB charging ports on both sides of the bed with your nightstands built in and windows. Another air conditioner module up here, another TV, another wireless charging pad, more storage. It is equipped for washer and dryer as well. And everything in terms of the cabinetry is uh, adjustable hidden hinges. So high quality hinge throughout too. So um, a lot of really nice features in this unit as you go through it. Uh, definitely worth coming to check it out. Uh, we have it here at uh, Arcan RV in Edmonton. Come check us out.